have you ever thought about breaking up with me? Yeah. Are you serious? You have to think about it. Do you feel like we're equally contributing to our relationship? No. Hello, you all. I just took a shower. I have a special announcement. Basically, I have like half a day off. We only had half a day of clinic and ORs were done, so I got excused. Hmm, I should probably shave. I'll be right back. I'm back. This lighting is terrible. Uh, she's gonna have a hard time editing this, but uh, I thought it would be good for me to surprise her by cleaning up the apartment and making it look nice. She has a pretty long day at work. Lucky, come here. Say hi to the camera. realized that the highways we took required toll, so we actually got a bill, so I need to pay that. I need to pay my credit card bills, make sure everything's okay, and check on my uh, financial situation. Okay, you guys, what's up? I just finished a day of work. I finished a 12-hour shift. I'm out of my scrubs and my normal human civilian clothes. But today's super exciting because I actually ordered the iPhone 12 for Kevin um, and it arrived today. I think he actually might have accidentally picked up the package already, but he doesn't know that it's an iPhone. Honestly, I should have known better that there was no way I could keep a secret from Kevin, but he actually already picked up this box, as you can see in this clip, and tried really hard not to open it until I got home, so the surprise was ruined. So the Buttles has a new favorite resting spot just on this ledge here. Oh. Hi, Buttles! Hi, Beauty! Did you clean the house? No. Oh my you goodness. cleaned it. You cleaned it. Wow, you dressed up for the vlog and looked cute too. Really? I shaved. Wow. Dude, it's so cold today. I think I'm giving off California vibes. I was told the Uggs are not a no. are not it for the Seattle vibe. Nobody, it's too wet. I just finished work. That's really? what I was doing. Really? Not I have shopping. a real job and make real money. No, it was fine. It was a really busy day at work. Okay, I'm gonna go change. I'll be okay. right back. So I just finished showering and I just found out that Kevin already knows that I got him the iPhone. Mmm. What? Any words from the person who ruined the surprise? What do you mean? You cannot surprise me. It's not possible. Kevin loves unboxing stuff so much that I was worried that he would have just opened the box like without me even being home at all yeah so we did get the charger because apparently the new iphone doesn't come with a charger so we ordered that and we'll link all these products down below too if you want to check them out i ordered a plain clear phone case and then of course we also got the screen protectors with the the tempered glass i cannot the bridges have you been waiting all day to open it I cannot breathe. Have you been pretending that you didn't know it was here even though you knew it was here? What? You know how you know you love someone? It's when you want to buy someone really nice, shiny things that you want, but you buy them for them before you buy them for yourself. Have you ever gotten the new iPhone and it's released before? No. I had an iPhone 4 when there was like a 6 and I got a 6 when there was like an 8. And then I moved to this wonderful Android cellular device. Oh wait, wait, can we show them your current phone? Stylish. It's a brick phone. Look, look at the wallpaper. It's so cute. Oh. The box is so tiny. My god. 128 gigabytes designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. Don't drop it. Here's this is the iPhone 11. The iPhone. I think it's a little bit bigger or smaller. Hello. You have to turn it on, honey. Oh. While we wait for the iPhone to load up and sync with Apple ID, we are actually gonna eat dinner because I am starving and it's 7.20. Yes. And if Mickey doesn't get fed, Mickey gets hangry. If you don't know what hangry is, it's hunger and anger combined, which is probably two of the worst things that Kevin experiences. Let me make Green Chef tonight. Oh yeah, we have Green Chef. Oh. Thanks so much to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. We have the panko chicken. 
These recipes are so pretty. Ooh. Or the home style meatloaf and gravy. I think I want the panko chicken. It looks really good. And we'll say five minutes. So that'll okay. be good for both of us. Basically our initial motivation for ordering a meal kit was that we would go grocery shopping and spend like so much money on groceries, but we didn't really know what to cook and we would end up just throwing away most of the food because it would get rotten and ordering takeout anyways. And so it just seems like a really counterproductive situation and we wanted to streamline like our routines a little bit better. And so that's when we started ordering Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and they include different types of meal plans like vegan, paleo, keto, vegetarian. And so there's basically something for everyone. All the ingredients are like pre-measured. It's minimal prep. You just do like the final step where you like put all the pretty yes. things together hopefully we can kind of make this um on the back here the step-by-step -step instructions are quite clear and they include these uh these tips as well you know this is actually a really great way for us to you know discover new recipes so if you like some of these we'll probably try to make it ourselves and it's also super easy to eat you know but wouldn't it be cute if, if we picked the same recipes and yeah. did like a cook-off or something <gasps> We could all like yes. share them on our Instagram stories or something. Or like go live. Okay, so while you enjoy this beautiful montage, I also have to let you know that you can actually go to greenchef.us slash mickeyright80 and use the code mickeyright80 to get $80 off across the first four boxes, including free shipping on your first box. Like seriously, don't miss out. This is like better than like the takeout that we got. Should we just have like a juicy session where you ask me questions and I ask you questions? Okay. Do you feel like we're equally contributing to our relationship? No. No, wait, am I supposed to explain my answer or? Yeah. Or should we just do yes or no questions? Would that be more juicy? Just don't. Ooh, and just don't answer them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything you haven't been honest to me about over the last couple months? No. Why the no? I don't think so. I have to think. Have you ever thought about breaking up with me? Ever? Yeah. Yeah. Are you serious? You have to think about it. When? When we, when we were thinking about moving. Were we even together? Babe, right before we left, like the <laughs> night before. Can I quote you? What did you say? You want to tell the camera what you said? Well, I was say, I don't remember. Am I really going? Like, can I just stay here? Really? I said that? Yeah. That sounds like exactly what I would say. Yeah. Are there any red flags? Mmm, I know what you're thinking. I don't even know what I'm thinking. Mmm, hmm, 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 hmm. What are you thinking? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Shoot, I forgot about that one. What? That's not my red flag. That's your red flag. That's what I'm asking. Wait, are you asking if I have any red flags of you? Or mm -hmm. are you asking if you have any... You have one of me. Really? That's on you. That one is you. Yeah. That's not on you. It's on me. Oh, I thought it was on me because... It's on me. Do you have any red flags? <laughs> no, I wouldn't call them red flags. Okay. I think we thought a lot before we started dating. I mean, we had to think about a lot too. Oh. Especially because we were moving. Yeah. Have you ever been suspicious of me doing something behind your back? A little bit. Yeah, you're famous. Oh, doing what? I don't know. You sometimes message celebrities with blue check marks on them. I have blue check mark too. I know. I will see you All guys right. in the next one. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Don't forget to smash that like button. That would really make our day. Don't forget you're a 10 out of 10. And, and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Whoa. Not even letting, letting me say my own catchphrase. Okay, I love you guys so much. Bye.